Miami's luxury towers have everything. Car elevators, rooftop pools, celebrity neighborhoods, and something completely unexpected called gradual descent. A new study shows dozens of beachfront high-rises are slowly sinking into the ground. Just a couple of inches over a few years and still moving. What's going on? And is it going to get worse? Let's find out. When you look at a map of South Florida, the city of Miami is mostly on the mainland. Just off the coast lies a long barrier island. That's Miami Beach, the stretch you see in most drone shots and travel clips. Fancy cars, the beach, the clubs, the glass towers right next to the water, that's all on this island. But it didn't always look like that. For a long time, this area was mostly older hotels and simple apartment buildings. As prices went up and richer buyers started chasing ocean views, developers began knocking those down and putting luxury high-rises in their place. Floor by floor, that island turned into a narrow wall of glass facing the Atlantic Ocean. Now, here's the problem. Miami Beach sits only four to five feet above sea level. That's barely enough height for comfort. Each fall, king tides push water up through drains and across certain streets on bright, clear days. The flooding sometimes gets so bad that locals could kayak through parking lots for fun. That might sound like a funny video, but for researchers, it raised a serious question. Could the same landscape be shifting beneath the towers too? Some buildings had already shown signs of movement, and the question became whether the ground itself was still settling under all that concrete and steel. To find out, scientists used a method called INSAR, which stands for Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar. It works by having satellites scan the same spot on Earth over and over, using radar to detect tiny changes in elevation. It's like watching a tower in slow motion from space, tracking whether it holds steady or slowly sinks. Those scans stack hundreds of satellite passes over the same balcony corners and roof edges. It's the same kind of radar NASA uses to track volcanoes and ground shifts. With enough images, researchers can spot motion as small as the thickness of a credit card. Between 2016 and 2023, they focused on this section of coastline, from Sunny Isles to Miami Beach. The data showed that at least 35 high-rise buildings had moved downward over that period. In some cases, the ground had dropped just under an inch. In others, it was closer to three. That may not seem like much, but over a short time, and in structures this heavy, it means something's off. These weren't new buildings under construction. Most were already finished, which makes the continued movement unusual. In theory, they should have settled and stopped, but they didn't. So what exactly is making the ground sink under these towers? Let's look underground, specifically right under these nice looking buildings. Beneath the island is a mix of sand and Miami limestone. It is strong enough to build on, but it behaves more like hardened coral than solid mountain rock. Water moves through it, pressure moves through it, and sometimes the ground shifts in ways engineers can't properly predict. One possible explanation is something called creep deformation. It sounds like a villain from a B-movie, but it's actually a slow-motion rearranging of particles under constant pressure. Imagine parking a heavy truck on soft ground. It makes little dents right away, but if the truck stays there for a long time, those dents slowly get deeper. The ground keeps squishing a tiny bit at a time. That slow squishing is what might be happening under these buildings. But it's not just the weight. Construction itself can wake the ground up. Pile drivers, excavation, and heavy machinery can shake the sandy layers enough that older buildings nearby start shifting again. The study also found that some of the newer towers showed stronger movement overall, likely because the soil beneath them was still adjusting after recent construction. And then there's the water. The limestone underneath acts like a sponge, soaking up water from the ocean below and the rain above. When that water moves around, it quietly eats away at the rock and shifts the sand that holds everything up. That's how the ground slowly loosens. So. We have a spongy ground, heavy buildings, and the constant shaking from construction, plus water flowing through the rock. 
Over time, all of that adds up. It presses down just a little at first, then a little more. We're only talking inches, but even small uneven shifts can be enough to make engineers nervous. So, what does this mean for the buildings and all the people making social media reels? Probably, and hopefully nothing. At least, not tomorrow. We're still far away from disaster movie scenarios. Structures won't topple over. There won't be sudden sinkholes swallowing cars. It's not how it works. But this problem does raise some eyebrows, especially after what happened just a few miles north in Surfside. In 2021, the Champlain Towers South partially collapsed. It was a huge tragedy that Miami will remember forever. That disaster didn't happen just because the ground moved. Issues kept piling up slowly over the years. Engineers discovered cracks, rust, and bad drainage. The building was falling apart from all sides, and then it was too late to do anything about it. But since then, the city has been paying more attention. Engineers are reassessing older buildings near the coast, and local officials are pushing for stricter inspections. The radar data doesn't mean a building is unsafe, but it can be an early warning. A signal that something deserves a closer look. For residents, though, there's a catch. Right now, there's no rule that says developers or building managers have to monitor ground movement with satellite scans. The study didn't involve teams going inside or taking core samples. It was just a space-based scan from above. If you zoom out from the sinking tower drama and look at that long strip of land, it's already one of the weirdest pieces of real estate on the planet. A good portion of the Miami lifestyle is literally fake land. Star Island, Palm, Hibiscus, the Venetian chain, and a bunch of other spots started as sand at the bottom of Biscayne Bay. The bay was dredged in the 1920s. The sand was piled into islands, and developers turned those piles into celebrity neighborhoods where houses now cost tens of millions of dollars. Some of the richest people on Earth treat this area like their private game board. Fisher Island, just off South Beach, currently has the most expensive zip code in the United States, with a median listing price in the eight-figure range. A bit farther up sits Indian Creek, known as the Billionaire Bunker. It has only 41 houses, its own police force, and neighbors like Jeff Bezos and Tom Brady. One empty 1.8-acre lot there was recently listed for around $200 million, just for the dirt and the view. And all of this floats along the edge of Biscayne Bay, next to an actual national park full of beautiful marine creatures like dolphins, manatees, and sea turtles. More than a hundred bottlenose dolphins live in and around the bay year-round, racing past boat docks and tall condos, like they're extras in someone else's movie. So, what happens next? Engineers keep scanning, inspectors keep checking, and everyone online keeps posting drone shots like nothing odd is happening under their feet. That's Miami, a strange blend of glamour and physics that never quite behaves. It's not a crisis, it's a maintenance routine. As long as the people in charge pay attention to quieter signals like slow dips in elevation or small structural changes, the skyline should hold. Maybe it settles a bit, maybe it stretches and groans. Now that engineers and scientists are aware of this issue, they can prepare and propose solutions. Until then, the towers will still be up and the bay will still shine bright. The whole city will keep drifting in its own style, just slightly downward. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.